So good tidings from the Mile High City in Denver, Colorado, where a group of unions, political and community organizations, including Our Revolution, is urging Denver voters to vote yes on question 2U, which will give collective bargaining rights to 10,000 workers who don't have it. And it's really the whole campaign and effort is the classic lesson that I know is a rallying cry at our revolution, which is when we organize, we win by organizing a base of workers who are committed to building real power. We are poised now to win workers' rights at the ballot box. And our revolution has been a supporter since day one. Um, our revolution, you all were one of the first organizations to step up. You mobilized your very significant Denver membership, um, tens of thousands of our revolution members in the Denver area with hundreds of phone calls and a sign on letter to our mayor uh, to support union rights. And with your help, we got our mayor and all of our city council on board with unanimous support to bring this to the voters. We've had a lot of people respond with shock along the way voters, like don't city workers already have these rights? And although collective bargaining is considered a human right across the globe, our rights to collective bargaining in this country are very weak and in some places non-existent. So that's how it can be that in 2024 in Denver, Colorado, a deeply blue city that voted 80% for Joe Biden in 2020, library workers, sanitation workers, social workers are still excluded from these basic human rights of being able to negotiate a union contract. And we have to face these painful facts in our country. It's a painful fact that the deck in this country is stacked against working people and that that fact has opened the door for Donald Trump. It's the shabby, shoddy um, patchwork of collective bargaining coverage in the United States, both in the public sector and the private sector. It has to be seen as a major factor, not an excuse for working class support for Donald Trump, but it's a major factor. And we have to fight Trump. He's a scab. I've got my sign right here. Um, but we also have to fight to expand collective bargaining rights so that working class people can have a real voice on the job and a real voice in our broader democracy. Um, it's not all bad news. In my role here as organizing director at CWA in District 7, it has been incredibly animating to be part of this movement of local public workers who are organizing despite not having collective bargaining rights. So Hundreds of workers four years ago formed CWA Local 7799. They have built collective power. They have 1,700 dues paying members, 1,700 people paying dues every month to their local without collective bargaining rights. And for those of you who are unfamiliar, this uh, form of unionization is called pre-majority union or direct join union. And it's an option for those people that don't have access to collective bargaining. So this organizing over the last four years has created a base of workers in Denver with the political power to push for municipal collective bargaining at the ballot box. So this is a when we organize, we win story. Um, and we worked in 2023, a lot of unions, not just CWA, but SEIU, a lot of other unions worked really hard um, as well as with community organizations, our revolution, housing and racial justice organizations, to elect more progressives to our Denver City Council, just like Representative Omar said. And we elected Chantel Lewis, we elected Serena Gonzalez Gutierrez, we elected our CWA member, Sarah Parody, And we knew these people, we didn't think they would fight for workers, we knew they would fight for workers' rights and they would lead the fight for workers' rights. And that's what we've done alongside of them. We've built a movement with amazing partners like Our Revolution and Teamsters Local 455 and Teamsters Local 17 and too many other organizations to list. And we are now bringing this issue directly to voters. So voters, Denver voters are gonna decide if any of y'all are living in Denver. Um, we all in Colorado, we mostly vote by mail. Our ballots will start around uh, mid-October and voters are gonna have the opportunity to fix our broken collective bargaining system and our broken laws in Denver. So if people wanna learn more, you can go to our website, which is strongerdenver.org. Thank you again so much, Joseph, and all the good people at Our Revolution for being so supportive from the beginning um, and for the invitation to talk tonight. It's been an honor. Katie,